I play a character named Tommy Sullivan. He's a veteran of the New York police force. He met Megan there when he was, uh, he was uh, uh, like a street <coughs> cop, and Megan was a um, uh, med student in, in New York. And um, uh, they, they met and, um, you know, had, had a, had a um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just went back there for a while. <laughs> anyway, here I am. I'm back. <laughs> they had a good time together. Let's just put it that way. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, 20 years have gone by. Oh my God. Um, Tommy, Tommy, Tommy really would like to kind of go back again. Would like to, to start things back up with her again because no one has ever matched the in <clears throat> intensity of that You're weird. experience that they had together. So <laughs> they're, they're coming back together and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> okay, Jerry. <laughs> Kate is running for Congress. Yes, she finally decides to go for it. And um, so she's having to juggle a political campaign and the kind of moral ambiguity that goes along with politics and sort of coming to terms with if she can really do that and also juggle that with her real job which is very important. And the demands of the Tea Party. We'll see. <laughs> oh, you've decided she's Republican, did you? <laughs> yeah. Okay, apparently we were asking that earlier. Yeah. He's decided she's Republican. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. I think either way. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Well, I mean, it's hard to juggle two things, two, two very time-consuming, very important jobs. And um, Kate's doing her best to not let the balls drop and not let anything fall between the, tra between the cracks. But she, you know, it's easier sometimes than others. And Megan is certainly always right there to tell her if a ball is dropping and if she's not kind of keeping up her end of her job. Um, and, you know, Kate's having to deal with some of the moral ambiguities that go along with with a political campaign and things that you have to kind of blur the lines a little bit. And she's she's got to decide if she's going to be okay with that. Yeah, yeah. Um, John Hotosi played a, a veteran on, on the show. He, he just did a fantastic job of it. And um, I mean, the overall twist, I can't I can't really give that away because I'm not at this liberty. Time? This time I can't. Because he's been doing it I'm all the, afternoon. I'm, this, <laughs> I'm the spoiler guy. Yeah, <laughs> veterans, issue, veterans issues, there's something that's really near and dear to my heart and the rest of the cast as well. And we, we have this program where our producers agreed to, to start bringing on um, uh, veterans as interns. And we've probably had about like 15, maybe 20 different veterans kind of come through and work in different departments. And, um, you know, it's, kind of, it's, it's been sort of a way for us just to give them a, a head start into the business and uh, to get them an idea of what what it would be like working in the entertainment field. <laughs> well, she gets one. That's kind of exciting. Um, so that was fun. We get uh, she meets a mysterious uh, Ukrainian man of mystery and and uh, with a very deep Ukrainian voice. With a deep Ukrainian voice. Yes. Deep Ukrainian yes. voice. So it's fun. It was fun to see her go to a different place emotionally and go to a different place what does he call in you? general. Katya? What does he call you, Katya? Katya, yeah. Katya, Katya. <laughs> okay. Katya, go make me a sandwich. <laughs> yeah. Not quite. Anyway. Not quite. Katya. Yeah, Sergey. Anyway. <laughs> I loved his accent. I would just sit there and go, oh my God. Wow. Yeah. The boys were a little intimidated. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it was just like, oh man. <laughs> no, it was kind of like, I wish I had that voice. <laughs> oh. Wish I was Ukrainian. <laughs> <You know? laughs>